Hello guys, today we're going to learn how can I list my properties. In this tutorial, you will learn how to add real estate page into your app. Through custom real estate page, you can list multiple properties for selling or renting. Let's see how it's done. Start creating your app. Add real estate page into your app. If you want, you can rename real estate with your business name. Click on add properties button. Click on proceed to dashboard. This is your real estate dashboard. Click on add property to list properties for selling or renting. Under basic details, select whether you are owner, builder, or broker. Select whether you want to sell or rent property. Choose property type. By default, we have provided some property type, but if you want, you can add or delete property types from general settings, which we will discuss later in this video. Click on save and next button to go ahead. Under location, enter city name. Enter project name. Here you can provide name of your property or project. In locality field, you can provide landmark. Enter property address. Click on save and next button to go ahead. Here you need to provide property details like property area, area unit, bedrooms, bathrooms, etc. Enter expected price or monthly rent for your property. If you want users to book property for a particular amount, then provide respective amount in booking amount deposit amount field. Enter owner's email ID. By default, app owner is the owner of the property. If you are a broker and you want third person or actual owner to receive property bookings, then you must enter his her email ID and phone number. If you want, you can list properties on lease and provide the date when it is available for move-in. Under Add Media, you can add images, videos, or YouTube video URL of your property. Click on Save and Next button to go ahead. Under Features section, select amenities that you are offering with your property. There are some default amenities, however you have the option to add the lead amenities, which we'll discuss later in this video. Enter description of your property. Select inquiry form. For your ease, we have provided a default form. If you want to add your own inquiry form for the property, go to form builder and create custom form as per your needs. These forms will be available under this dropdown, which you can select based on your requirements. Click on save and next button to go ahead. If you want, you can add more properties by clicking on Add Property button. Click on Users List. In this section, you will see all the properties listed by users through the app. You have the option to enable or disable ad listing from general settings. Please note, the email ID that you will provide while adding the property will be shown in Users Listing. You can manage your inquiries from Manage Inquiries tab. If you want to manage reviews for your property, then click on Manage Reviews. General Settings is further divided into four parts. You can customize future from Configuration Settings. Under Language Settings, you will find all the default text that are being displayed on your app. If you update any language settings, text from here, it would immediately start reflecting on your app. Under property management, you can edit, delete, and add property type and amenities. Click on CMS page to provide terms and conditions and privacy policy for your property. 
Click on Claim Property if you want to see all the properties claimed by the users. Just for your information, if you have enabled Claim Property option, then your users can claim properties through the app. That's it for now. Thank you for watching.